All right, first game of the day, the Bucks versus the Magic. We got the Bucks winning 121 to 99. But as you're gonna see here, it was a really close game. The Magic, as you see, Jordan Bowen hit the jump shot, a little floater there. He had eight points. Vucevic had 28 points, 13 rebounds. Aaron Gordon with 21 points, eight assists, five rebounds. Giannis only had 22 tonight. Well, I say only, but it's Giannis. Middleton had 20. Bobby Portis also had 20. Look at the Magic. Watch this from Aaron. Gordon, he's going to just completely dunk on Giannis right over him, give him a little flex and meat mug. But here come the Bucks. Magic had all the momentum, but then Giannis hits this three, and that just sends off a Bucks run. Remember, the Magic are missing like six players, not even to COVID, but to injuries. But look at Mo Bamba finally in the rotation, getting the hand one. He had eight points tonight and four rebounds in only 11 minutes. Good game from him. Hopefully, he'll get more minutes. There's Brook Lopez with the and one. Probably not a foul, but they called it anyway. Now... In the paint, kick out to Pat Connington. That man can shoot. You know it, and he's going to make it. Good shot. Now they're up by 12, and they're not going to let up. Chris Middleton is just going to knock down a three. He had a lot of points in this fourth quarter. As you're going to see, he's going to hit a three. Now he's going to hit another jump shot, a mid-range right here in Nikola Vucevic's face. Then the next play down, why not do it again? Give it to Brian Forbes. He's just going to make a three-pointer. He had 14 tonight. Good game from him. Now here's Middleton, they're up by 20 now. That's a lot of points as to where it just was easy layup for Dante DiVincenzo. The Magic are gonna fall to six and five and the Bucks will go to seven and four. The Magic have lost three in a row now, they were six and two. And they were looking really good until they got all these injuries and obviously that's not helping them. Fours with a steal, Bucks are gonna win. Raptors versus the Blazers, and this is a good one as well. Look, you see the Bl Raptors are up by 14, but here come the Blazers. They are not done just yet. CJ McCollum, another huge night. He's been playing better than Damian Lillard to start the season. 30 points with a game winner. Melo had 20, 23 for Dame Ian Lillard. Look at the shot from the corner from OG Ananobi. He had 18 points. Siakam had 22 points, 10 assists, 13 rebounds. First career triple-double for him. But he's going to miss another game winner. He missed one yesterday. He's going to miss another one today. 20 points also for Chris Boucher. And 18 for Kyle Lowry. Raptors are now 2-8. and eight. The Blazers are 6-4. and four. What's going on with the Raptors? Why are they 2-8? and eight? Let me know. It's definitely a weird start to the season. As you see Melo hitting that corner three. It's a two-point game. Now Melo in the post. Pulling out his signature move. That's going to get into the hoop on Van Vliet. Now we got Lillard. Lillard dancing, Lillard dancing, he's going to just do a step back, hits it, that's now a three point lead for Portland, but here come the Raptors there, not trying to lose another game, Fan, Fran, Lee with the pass, the pass, Scott Siakam with the dunk, one point game now, here goes Lillard to Covington, Covington to Melo, Melo for three, bang, good shot from Melo, that's a four point game now, now the Raptors trying to get back into it. And Boucher is going to hit a three. Loki could have been an and one. Let me know what you think. That was a good shot, though. An unexpected one for sure. Now Siakam with the dunk. One point lead for Toronto. Good pass from Fred Van Vliet there. Now let's see what the Blazers got. CJ McCollum, game winner. No, the Raptors are going to miss the shot. You're going to see here. Siakam's going to get, honestly... Not a bad look at it. He's going to do a spin, of course, because he's a Gatsu. But now, look at this. He gets a decent shot, and it just does not go in. All right, let's get to the final game of the day. Final game of the day, the Pacers versus the Kings. This is a good one. But before we get into this, one, let me go over the other games today. Grizzlies, they beat the Cavs 101 to 91. 21 for points for Dylan Brooks. The Wizards beat the Suns 128-107. No Westbrook, no Thomas Bryant, but a W. Deep book at 33. Bradley Beal at 34, 9 assists, and 8 rebounds. The Knicks lose to the Hornets 109-88. They're now 6-5, the Hornets. Knicks are 5-6. Good game from Gordon Hayward for sure. He had 28 in the first half, 34 for the game. And then finally, the Hawks beat the 76ers 112-94. 26 points for Trey Young. Now look at this, there's 0.5 seconds on the shot clock, and look at Rashawn Holmes just knocking down the three, that's a good shot. 16 points for him, 10 rebounds, and 6 blocks. Now Tyrese Halliburton is going to hit the three, the rookie, hey, hey, he had 12 points, De'Aaron Fox at 21. The Kings are now going to go to 5 and 6, the Pacers will fall to 6 and 4. But... Look, the Pacers are in this game. They're only down by six as Doug McDermott 
knocks down that three-pointer. He had 21. Also, 28 points for Sabonis, 11 rebounds, 24 for Brogdon, 21 for Oladipo. But Harrison Barnes had 30 points for the Kings. He's been playing really well this season. They're 5-6. and six. They still are in the playoff hunt. Let's see if they can make some noise this season. Look at Oladipo with the and one. Going to tie up the game. Now they're up by two. Block from Ashawn Holmes. Like I said, he had six of those career high, six blocks. Now Harrison Barnes going to hit De'Aaron in the corner. Back to Buddy Heald. He's going to hit the three. He had six three-pointers tonight and 18 points. Not a bad game from him. He kind of clutched up. Look at the take, though, from the Pacers. Now they're only down one. But there's Rashawn Holmes. They're going to find somehow Buddy Heald in the corner for three. He's going to just knock it down. Now look at this. The play of the game. De'Aaron Fox just going to lift off against the Pacers. Got the bench going crazy. What a dunk to put the Kings up by six points. That was thunderous. Very, very good stuff. That's why you got that super max. Now the Pacers... Oh, the depot's going to get a dunk back of his own. They're only down by four, but it's too little, too late. The Kings are going to take the W. And, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, y'all. See y'all in the next one. And peace.